started way back, that's 12 years back, I'll say, by a group of enthusiastic riders. There were about just about 10, I guess, uh, riding beyond boundaries, making friends, and you know, uh, pe you know, the, taking the message of peace and all, brotherhood. It's always on rotational basis. So we were given the uh, 20, 20 them because that was the anniversary, 10th anniversary year for us. But because of COVID, it was canceled for two consecutive years. And so we are having the 12 them this year. Probably this is the highest number of bikers in any Royal Enfield uh, riders meet in the whole country. Uh, we have 1,870 1, registered and about five gate crashes. On spot registration actually, so, and 1,870 registered. a private event and so we discourage outsiders to come in. The security is only for that purpose. There are 20 to 30 people in security. We are just here to ensure that no outsiders go in. Nobody is, apart from the riders, nobody is allowed to go in. Nune was always in our thoughts when we were going to organize NERM. Nune is not a very cheap place at the same time. So we were opting off some other places outside, you know, outside Dimapur. And as the registration started, we found out that that place is not going to hold this many riders. So, Ultimately, we came to this place. We are trying to sort out the goodie bags and all, according to the counter wise. So, when they come and register, we will be giving them the goodie bags. Just see how, uh, what a big Mayhem this place will be after a while. Please wear, okay, please wear. Without that, you cannot yeah. enter. Royal Riders, Manipur. Five. Uh -huh. I am not part of any club, I am just a solo rider and I'm a good friend of Mr. Zoppo. He is a half old rider from Mumbai. <laughs> this is our club. Sikkim Riders Club. Sikkim Riders Club, yes. Oldest club. It is uh, about uh, more than 10 years. Ah, well, to be very frank with you, I'm expecting some awesome music and uh, some really good food. And of course, I know that the cultural thing will always be there, even if I don't want it. This is what we have created in the biking fraternity, you know. So we ride from all part of India to now, especially because we have that brotherhood here. When we meet, we grow. This is our tagline. So like, you know, and another is like, you know, uh, four-wheeler moves the body, two-wheeler moves your soul, right? Royal Appeal has been uh, the bike that every bikers dream of.
the sound of the engine, the thumb, we call it the duck duck. That has been the uh, sound that echoes in everybody's head. We as kids, when we grow up, we see the bikes, we see people roaming in that, and now we are getting the opportunity to ride those bikes. Okay, I, I work with the postal department. Postal department. I'm a doctor. I am a, a technology lead in uh, JP Morgan Chase in Mumbai. I'm a dental surgeon. I know Kaketo Yepomi. He was my uh, senior one year. I think most of us have been riding since last 10 years. Uh, this is my fifth NERM. So I've been coming from 2016 and year on year it has been a repeat. What did you tell? Hey. <laughs> That's a very of course I, I took leave for my own reason, then there is a personal reason. We are we from, from Silchar. I am from Siliguri. <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Many, many hot. I am working in the Northeastern Council as a director. Since I've been planning for two years to come here. So this time I took leave and came. We are Royal Enfield Riders Association of Meghalaya. We have, we have a rule. Nobody enters the venue until the last guy comes. Okay? So we reach Pasigat at 10 a.m. in the morning and some guys were stuck. We entered at 2 a.m. So we waited for uh, the whole day until the night. We have a rule. Nobody enters the venue until the last guy is here. Bikers, uh, I've always said bikers are not choosers. <laughs> so we are allotted campsites, so we camp almost we camp almost anywhere yeah, except on top of trees. So we have a, we find a small space, we clear it up, we camp, we bring along our carrier, our tents, sleeping bags, sleeping mats, and all. We love to rough it out. Yeah. Five of our members, they, they came yesterday and live to Kohima to attend Hornbill. They came all here, they reached all here, they have just look out the location and we're lucky to have this place. We also love riding bikes, we also want to stay aloof from all these worldly pleasures but still we want to maintain their club. This is a very exclusive club, like everyone can join but they have to maintain certain you know, discipline. Whenever we, we used to go for a ride, we used to carry a bible and we distributed the bible. Even in this 
uh, meat also, we brought something around 20-25 bibles. This is Vinod Rawat from Maharashtra, Mumbai. And I'm so blessed that I am in this place, this land called Nagaland. I look good, fine, strength, strong and healthy. But there's a weakness in everyone's life. If you see, I'm having an artificial limb. So, log jab dekhte one look mein, they will find bechara. No, it is not my weakness, this is my strength. Where from Manipur? I came from Pune. I will be 21 uh, at 5th of December. God willing, after two weeks I should be 74. Yesterday uh, we are from uh, we we returned from Tawang. We've been to Tawang and <laughs> I went riding all the way up to Ahmedabad and that dehydration thing happened. One day at the hospital cut short my thing from Ahmedabad I flew. I came back then I rode back to Pune again, uh, hometown. And now I flew to Guwahati and uh, I'm riding here and tomorrow I'm riding down to the 7th I have my flight back. My name is Barry Thompson. I'm from Georgia, United States. I'm 61 years old. I have 11 grandchildren and they all think I'm crazy. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Sohan Roy, a veteran from the Indian Army. Served in 15th Battalion of the Kumau Regiment for about 30 years, including staff appointments and others. There are many role models, and the chiefs of these clubs are very deep thinkers who are trying to raise the next generation of young men that will run your society. My name is Kevin Central Chief, and the name meeting we call uh, is the Affiliated club members only and each club are presented by two members so for the, uh, every now we have a meeting and we had a resolution to follow up and all so the last past two years whatever resolution we had we had to review it and whatever that we have fulfill and uh, whatever that we need to make it far on take far on we decide on the near meeting the most important thing is during the meeting, near meeting, for the next hosting club, we choose from there. We vote or we give it on the turn basis, so that's the most important part on the near meeting. After attending three NERM only, and minimum members should be 10. So after three NERM, uh, they are qualified to be a near member. Uh, notice Alliance Riders. Okay, mainly we are here for brotherhood. Okay. We love to riding, riding. We have for good riding. So we are here for brotherhood. Spread, spread the brotherhood between the different states, different people. With yeah. different love people, we are spreading our love <laughs> and brotherhood. Love is a gift. Let's make it one. Love you all. I am in charge of the sanitation at this NRM. We have been working here for two weeks and since today is the start, start, uh, starting day, we, we are having little hiccups here and there but we are managing somehow. The Chumakirima Town Council is helping us clean up the bathroom every day and the garbage, garbage as well. We do more of the main thing kind of thing. Whenever it's the bikers meet, we do the main thing, but we let the ladies participate also. Uh, usually, we have arm wrestling, which is held every year, dirt, the dirt track, tug of war, and then we have the slow race.
dirt track and the off-road off -road thing happened long time back. It's been happening long time back. But one thing, one thing that, that has changed is the name. We decided to honor it, uh, we name it in honor of uh, our, our club member, Paul Rutsa, who is also the founder of the club, one of the founders of the club. It's actually a group of clubs that have decided to give, honor him, give the name in honor of Paul Rutsa because he was one person who always won the dirt track. Gate and I'm like, wow, I've not seen anything like this before. Like, this is pretty unique. And as an Enfield club, like purely Enfields, the fact that if you own another bike like a BMW like I've got, you've got to leave it outside the front gate. But I love that, it's good. Um, but I think this is something that's a personal connection to me. Like I love motorcycles, always have, ridden since I was, you know, 15, 16 years old. I've you know, currently got three motorcycles sitting in the garage at home um, and I ride on the racetrack. So this is a nice connection for me, you know, and to connect with you know, like the guys I was just talking to, share some stories, some accident stories. We always like to talk about the bits that we've broken. My name is Naura Jati. I am known as the biker cop from Nagaland. My name is Nancy Chawa Mannau and I'm from Arnachal. Rebels girl. उससे पहले मैं दूसरा two wheeler चलाती थी, लेकिन bike में first bike. Heavy क्या लगता है? Comfortable. 2001 से चला रही थी bullet, लेकिन ऐसे professional rider 2015. Professional rider मतलब क्या? Professional rider exactly की बताओ? और अभी she is attending all the events, no? No. Now she ride as a professional. Whatever the event will happen, no? She, she attend all the events. I am really, really, really happy because I bought it on my own, like from my own money. So I am really happy with my bike. Yeah. I have uh, this uh, price for bike for very long, but then I didn't have any bike. Even now it's my brother's. So it's been just some months. During the past uh, few years back, like uh, we had very, very less lady, lady riders. Especially when it comes to uh, Nordist. So Nordist, we had only four to five family riders who used to participate in this kind of NERM thing. But this year, um, I'm really happy and excited. Also, I feel really honored being a host, participating more than uh, 60 plus riders this time. So yeah, it feels good. This year, I bought my bike and I came to NERM. Yeah. Riding with the boys? Yeah. yeah. All alone? Yeah. Well, how much fun was it? Tell me about it. <laughs> it's super duper so, fun. Super fun. Yeah. Super fun. I feel like nothing extra, but I feel like I feel good. That that is the thing only. And like since from childhood, I like to buy ride my brother's bike also. That's why the this connection of my bike is since from school days. Ah, uh, in in the beginning it, it was difficult, but now it's good. Regular, just like scooty. <laughs> from. From Nassau to here, the experience was really awesome, and I was, I was a bit uh, scared. The the road might be they were telling me that um, bit hilly hilly area it is, so I was a bit scared. And uh, as my height doesn't go for this bike, so I was a bit scared. But it was fantastic. I had uh, my group; they helped me, so it was very good experience for me. How tall are you? How short are you? <laughs> uh, four point nine. शांति मिलती है ये मेरे लिए मेडिटेशन है ये ये मेरा मेडिटेशन है जो पूरे साल का काम रिस्पांसिबिलिटी करके मतलब पूरा खुला आसमान के नीचे ठंडी हवा धूप गर्मी बारिश उसमें जो फीलिंग आती है ना उससे पूरा माइंड रिलैक्स हो जाता है ये मेरा जान है I have come here to enjoy the uh, festival and also to meet other riders from all different parts of the country and especially I want to meet Gary Mahigan because I am a fan of MasterChef Australia so I have been looking really looking forward to see him and also maybe uh, there will be some local good talents which we can see and maybe they will perform for us and then I want to enjoy that.
we have outsourced our entertainment to uh, Life Now events, which is one of the best event management in the state. I've been waiting on the stage, you said my wars here, yeah, no backing down. Do I have to win just to prove myself? Gotta figure I think out. a private client like this to be able to subscribe to an infrastructure like this is a first of its kind for us, at least. And we are really, really proud and happy to be servicing a client such as, you know, the uh, the Nagaland bikers. The sound uh, system that we are using here has come straight from the Michael Lerner's Rock Show. So we are using the same sound as the Michael Lerner's Rock Show. Sometimes when there are like too many people in, a, in an organization, it also becomes a little difficult to balance things out. But uh, you know, th there are some real rock stars in that group. So all, all of these people have been really supportive and you know, they have really listened to us also in terms of um, uh, understanding the kind of technical infrastructure that needs to go up and in also in terms of understanding 16. the amount that has to be invested to you know, give them what they want. It's an honor, yeah. I know uh, I wasn't supposed to be the host. Full disclosure, but Rufusanyo was engaged and I got the job, so I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's a big event, just like you said, and I'm glad to be a part of it. We are like super excited, super thrilled, because I think this is one of the biggest festivals in Northeast. So, this is a huge platform for us. We're very honored, it's very humbling at the same time. Thank you for having us. I'm pretty nervous because uh, before us there's been like amazing bands and uh, I've seen their videos and stuff. It has been really great and amazing. I hope we also do justice. Okay, hello guys, I'm DJ Danika. I'm playing violin. I'm from Ukraine, Kiev. Try to express them with my violin, electric violin. So I think it's gonna be something like surprise. And it's gonna be good, EDM, hard music. I hope they will like it. Hi, we're feeling so excited. Uh, we're, we have a set list of eight songs. And we're so excited to go and get up on stage and rock the night. It's more like a like it's, it's very adventurous. Like yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like it's like a dream come true. Yeah, like actually, we, we, even we're a fan of uh, biking and all. So yeah. it's a such an honor. Yeah, such an honor. Such an, yeah. Second time, yeah, the second time. The first time we performed somewhere in Kohima. Kohima. Yeah, that was a few years back. Are we excited? Very yes. much. Why? <laughs> because. <laughs> of course, very excited to play. Come on, in front of yeah. the big crowds, yeah. you know, the bikers and everything, rock songs. Come on. Yeah. here just now uh, I did not expect it, it to be so big I've been to a lot of biking events <clears throat> but I think this is the biggest one I've ever seen so it's pretty cool I am loving it I think we're gonna have a good rock and roll time oh, I want to give my best performance not only while performing but also while singing you know biking culture revolves around rock music if you look at the 60s 70s and the America in the US or anywhere else right so I think it has always gone hand in hand one two three go
cleaning up the last night mess. Uh, since we have to start the next event, so we prefer cleanliness than dirty. <laughs> yes. I feel proud to clean up. It's our duty. Our responsibility to keep the place clean. Wherever it may be, I like to clean up and stay clean. Thank you. So in our menu, we are mixing our authentic dishes like um, pork with smoked pork with anishi, and we will be cooking pork in bamboo shoot also. But at the same time, we are keeping another items, a fish and chicken, which will suit the palate of everyone. Well, you know, it's, um, it's funny, like I've always heard about Naga pork, and actually I posted something, and my brother-in-law, who lives in the UK, who's not a chef, right? But he said, Naga chilies! Have you eaten a Naga chili? So, a Naga pork already, he, like he knows that. He's a mad, uh, you know, keen home cook. And I said, oh yeah, I had Naga pork last, uh, last night and the proper night before. One, was it, Gary? Yeah, a proper one. Yeah, proper one. Oh, nice. You know, like beautiful. And so, and I've had, um, I've had pork with um, fermented bamboo shoots already, chicken with bamboo shoots, and a few other things. Have you had these things before as a chef? I think I've had Naga pork before, but not here. And here it's different, right? So the smokiness and the richness. Um, the, what is it? The aka, akua? The, akuni. The akuni, which is the fermented soy. I've had before, but this is quite uh, strong. It's quite unique. And so, you know, mixed together with the rice and the pork and the vegetables, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Around 100 people cooking in shifts. So we have a non-vegetarian team, we have a vegetarian team. So everybody is cooking in shift. We have a breakfast team, we have a lunch team. So on rotation basis they are cooking. We have butchered about 1,100 kgs of chickens, around 900 kilos of fish. 25 pigs, more than 1,000 kgs of chicken, uh, 900 kilos of fish. We have excellent food stalls this year. The, we have scrutinized the quality, we have uh, checked the menu and we have loaded the stalls. And we're very happy that they're giving quality food and uh, such delicious food at the very reasonable rates. And they're doing brisk business. Besides uh, food stalls, we have stalls selling merchandise like key holders, leather, leather goods, stickers, and accessories, clothes, and tattooing also. Yeah, we have tattoo parlors also. He made uh, 300 hoodies for the event as merchandise because the weather is quite warm here in Dimapur. We never know how much it'll sell. But on the back of our mind, we want to keep it limited so that whoever gets it gets, uh, becomes a treasure for him or her. So we, sold th we made 300 hoodies and it was sold off within one hour. The patches comes from Pune. Uh, he's a friend of mine. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He's, he has opened a stall here also as well. Uh, myself, Sumit Shinda. I'm from Pune, basically. And I run this small startup company called Patched Up. And apart from this, I have a regular job. So after job, I do uh, all this. Uh, uh, till now, I have like... Uh, uh, like given patches for like 400 plus clubs in India, Nepal and Bhutan. The NERM was happening after two years. I was there in Mizoram first. That was my first entry into Northeast. So I had a stall there also. That was my first attempt. So 
since it was like after two long years so i thought why not to explore northeast also on bike so like i have covered like almost whole of the india but northeast was pending so i thought i'll club my uh, business along with travel which is my passion so i thought why not to uh, ride down to northeast on bike so i started 26th of november i reached uh, i entered northeast around 30th of november. so it was like six days journey non stop close to you can say around 500 kilometers per day it was a long journey we thought in tuesday bar the indigenous rice beer bar was included because we want to give a taste of our culture because these beverages have been with us from the past this was our staple food right from the beginning so we want to give them a taste of our culture so we brought in the best team from kohima well, we all know the angamis are known for their uh, you know the best making the best traditional brew Rice beer. Rice, beer. rice beer, rice beer, rice wine, rice wine, rice wine. There will be rice beer. Ah, <laughs> oh, Everybody is enjoying. Everybody is happy with the food, the entertainment. Everybody is having a good time. In the entire northeast, this is our first time when we have uh, sponsored such a big uh, riders meet. It makes perfect sense to be aligned with uh, such an event, which where uh, riders and bikes and and two wheelers they form the main. part of the show we had we had done a similar event in the past also but i never thought that they will exceed their uh, numbers because dr bizo told me they were anticipating somewhere around 1500 i think they got some 1800 registration and people were still walking in at the time of registration so yes it was a it was a nice surprise for us uh, when we have more number of people uh, coming up for the event so are you a very happy sponsor oh yes absolutely have a very close association with the royal enfield and with the rider community so we wanted to participate here and we are participating as a gold sponsor for this event i was looking forward to this event uh, for since last few months and after coming here you know even the rider community is meeting after almost 3 years because last nrm was in 2019 so it was good to see such a huge crowd more than 2000 participants have come and so much of people are speaking positively about see it they are using they are our consumers so it's really exciting and even the arrangements here are really great no i heard lots about the motorcycle club of nagaland and then i heard about the northeast and their meet And so I arrived from Delhi today, and before I go up to Kohima, unless I come now, I'll not have other time. So I came. I am very happy to see that so many bikers from all over the country, even from abroad, uh, coming to show their solidarity and uh, oneness. So it's a message of peace, actually, world peace. Because unless there is peaceful and you know one day, we cannot come together in this manner. So on a personal note, were you ever a bike rider when you were younger? <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, I was. Which bike but, was it, sir? Uh, no bullet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
but uh, Kohima being very cold. So I change <laughs> and I change to my Fiat car. And once you, you are inside, you know, you're more comfortable. So, and uh, after you get married, you have no more time of those freedom. But uh, indeed, I love riding bikes in uh, my own times. A big feather to our hat, Nagaland Motorcycle Club as a whole, and you know, on a big, larger picture in Nagaland also. So we are very, very proud. And we, as young riders, we really were looking forward to taking part in such a big event. We all have been waiting for this for a long time. It's been three years in the planning. And we hope all the participants leave this place with very good memories of us. And we hope that this will strengthen the brotherhood among all the riders. And for us, we will carry this for a lifetime. We never know when we will be able to host this again. As a Naga chief, I really feel very proud because this is the biggest event in India that we have uh, held so far. And so far, the Northeast clubs they have not uh, have around 12 to 1300, 1500, but we have the highest numbers of bikers after the COVID lockdown. And we feel very proud to have the highest number to make a record in the whole India. As a Naga chief, we feel very proud. Another feather to us. Beautiful place, beautiful people. Yeah, of course. When the brothers are all around, the mates are all around, every place is much better. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Two things which make, uh, you know, a place amazing. First, people, you know, the loving, caring people which we have in Nagaland. And second is food. Thank you all for doing reporting on these topics. If you don't ever record it and nobody ever talks about it, you don't understand how important it can be and how much it can change lives.